Let's go to duplicating and renaming files. There are three main ways to open a file in Photoshop. The first is the most obvious. Go to File Menu, Open, and then choose your file by going through wherever to find it. You can also double click on the Workspace Background, and it will also, it's the same as File Open. And then the third way on a Mac, create a Photoshop icon on your dock, then drag your desired file to it. On a PC, same thing. Create a Photoshop shortcut on your desktop, then drag your desired file to it. Let's use this as an example. I'm just going to close this and not save it. And here's this image over here on the right-hand side. In fact, I can put the, uh, the red circle back on. And I'm going to drag this to the Photoshop icon in my dock. Or if you have your Photoshop icon on your desktop and a PC, and let's say you got a in a document window, this is Mac or PC, and I want to open this file. Well, rather than go back to open and, and finding this wherever it is in this document window, I could just drag it to that icon or to the the icon in the dock, and it's the same as file open. That's one of the biggest time savers in the world. Okay, two ways to duplicate a file. I just want to show you how you can duplicate it in Photoshop. Usually I duplicate it before I bring it into Photoshop. We just go to the image menu and duplicate. And it'll automatically put the word copy right after it. And when I do, then I can open that and what have you. I'm not going to keep that open, don't need to. The other way is in the document window on a Mac, you right mouse click on your file and go to duplicate. And it will do the same thing. It will put that file. You can see how I put that file right in there for us. On a PC, it shows you how to do that. The best way to rename a file is not in Photoshop, but in your computer's operating system. For instance, on this image here, the image that the client gave me is this one right here, Queen Mary 24 by 36. Well, it's not unusual for me to deal with hundreds, sometimes even thousands of images a week. So I put the client's initials, the name of the file, and the size sometimes. It really just kind of depends. But if I'm going to rename something, I'm going to rename it right here. And all I have to do is right mouse click and choose rename, and then I can change whatever I need to in there. I'm not going to, but just so I, I know that. Do you lose pixels when you duplicate? Absolutely not. No, none whatsoever. That's why you want to duplicate and work on something other than your original.